I am Anil Kumar and here is a question from my subscriber Robert. Robert actually I have been avoiding such questions since they take a lot of time in calculations and normally they take more space than what I have. I have room for just quarter of a page to work with. In any case I will now solve this question. It was long pending. Now the question here is triangle ABC has vertices A minus 2 0 B 2 comma 8 and C is 7 comma 3 how would you find the coordinates of the circumcenter now circumcenter is a point where all the perpendicular bisectors of the triangle meet right so basically we are given these three vertices and we need to find equation of perpendicular bisectors now perpendicular bisectors are the lines which will pass through the midpoint of the triangle side and will be perpendicular to this side right so to find the perpendicular bisectors equation we have to first find the midpoint and then use slope of the line to find equation of perpendicular bisector let us see how to do it so let's first consider the line AB right so line segment AB has a midpoint and let me call this midpoint as D here I've drawn this figure here is complete solution before you so it will help you to understand as we proceed forward so we are considering the line AB where point A is given to us as minus 2 0 and point B is given to us as 2 8 so midpoint of AB is D for us it is good to write this midpoint as capital M and AB so that is the midpoint for me which I wrote D here average value of X and Y so average value of X is minus 2 plus 2 divided by 2 that is the average value of X and for Y I have 0 plus 8 divided by 2 right so that becomes the midpoint for me which I can write here as 0 and 8 divided by 2 is 4 so that becomes the midpoint D for us okay let us not confuse ourselves let me call this M of AB okay that's good now let us find slope of line AB so we'll call this as small m AB as slope y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 y values are 8 and 0 so it is difference of 8 and 0 divided by difference of 2 and minus 2 that means 2 plus 2 and that gives you 8 over 4 and that is 2 now slope of line AB is 2 so what should be the slope of perpendicular bisector it has to be at right angles right so it has to be at right angles to this so it is negative reciprocal so we write this as perpendicular bisector AB so this line is perpendicular should be minus half correct so that is the slope of perpendicular bisector of AB now this is going through the midpoint and the midpoint MAB is equal to 0 and 4 so we can use slope intercept form to find the equation so we can write this as y equals to minus half which is the slope x plus b to find the y intercept which is actually given to us 0 4 means y intercept is 4 but in any case I will substitute 0 here and 4 there so 4 equals to minus half times 0 plus b clearly b is as expected just 4 and therefore equation of this perpendicular bisector let me call this as perpendicular bisector of AB is equal to is, let me write like this y equals to minus half x plus 4 correct so we have one equation one perpendicular bisector well since we know that all three will intersect at the same point we just need to find equation of two perpendicular bisectors and then their point of intersection now let us consider AC so point A is minus 2 0 
and C is 7, 3. So midpoint of AC is at these values minus 2 plus 7 divided by 2 and then we have 0 plus 3 divided by 2. So that gives us some decimal values. We'll keep fractions. So it is 5 over 2 here, right? And on this side it is 3 over 2. So that is the midpoint. Now let us find the slope of AC. I hope these steps are clear. Repeat the same steps, okay? Slope of AC is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. That means 3 minus 0, right? 3 minus 0 divided by 7 minus minus 2 or 7 plus 2. So we get this as 3 over 9 which is 1 over 3. So slope is 1 over 3 for AC. So what should be the slope of perpendicular to AC? negative reciprocal that means minus 3 and so the equation should be y equals to minus 3x plus b to find b we will use our midpoint midpoint for us is let me write clearly here once again of ac is 5 over 2 and 3 over 2 okay so we'll use this point here 3 over 2 is y value minus 3 times 5 over 2 plus b. Bringing it to the left side, we get 3 over 2 plus 5 times 3 is 15 over 2 is the b value. 15 plus 3 is 18. So let me write this as 15 plus 3 is 18. 18 divided by 2 or 9, right? So we get b as 9 in this particular case correct so that gives us the equation second equation which let me write y as perpendicular to ac okay let me push this page a bit y this is the second equation slope we found as minus 3 so we get minus 3x and b is 9 plus 9 right so let me highlight this equation also so we have two different equations. So that's the second bisector, right? So equation of this line is y perpendicular AC, correct? Now both these lines will intersect at a point and that is the circumcenter, right? This line is perpendicular to AC. Now to find the equation of or the point of intersection, we'll equate these two lines, right? Once we equate, we get our solution. So it is minus half x plus 4 equals to minus 3x plus 9. So we can bring x values together. So we're bringing x here. We get 3x minus half x equals to 9 minus 4, which is 5. Now combining this, we get 3 times 2 is 6. 6 minus 1 is 7. So we get 7x over 2 equals to 5 or that gives us x as equals to 10 over 7. Right? We did a mistake. 3 times 6, 6 minus 1 is 5, not 7. So 5, right? So it is 5x over 2, so it is 5 to 10 over 5, that is 2, right? So that is a mistake. So 3 times 2 is 6. 6 minus 1, that is 5, 5x over 2. So x is equals to 2. Now once x is 2, we can find the value of y by substituting 2 in any one of our equations, right? Let's use this equation. Let me push the page a bit more further. So we get y equals to minus half of this value 2 plus 4. And that gives us minus 1 plus 4 or 3. So the point of intersection of these two perpendicular bisectors of the triangle sides is 2 comma 3. So we get our answer which is 2 comma 3, right? So that is how you can find the point of intersection. So let's go through this process once again. First and foremost, you should select which two sides. Now I selected A and B since 
we had the values where I could get a zero and easy center point. So that was a good choice. So find the midpoint, find the slope of the line. Negative reciprocal of the slope gives you perpendicular bisector slope. Use the midpoint and the slope to get the equation. Follow the same process for the second perpendicular bisector. Use the two lines which we got here to find the point of intersection, right? Once you have it, then you have your answer. Now, the beauty of this point is that from this point, all these vertices are at the same distance. So, if I have a radius, I mean, if I connect this point with the center and take that much as the radius and draw a circle, then these three points will be on the circumference of this circle, right? Now, as an exercise, you can always find the distance of this radius. We can actually check it out from here itself. Both x values are 2. y value difference is 5. So here, the radius r for the circle is 5 units, right? It is 5 units. This radius is 5 units. Easy to calculate from here. Anyway, so we have a point right in the center. And if I join all these three points with a circle of radius 5, the three points will be on the circumference. And that is the reason why this point is called circumcenter, right in the center of a circle. Okay, so that is how we do it. I hope, Robert, it helps you to understand the concept. Thank you and all the best for your exam.